Guatemala said Monday it is starting the process of moving its Israeli embassy to Jerusalem, after President Jimmy Morales announced he would follow U.S. President Donald Trump's controversial lead on the holy city. Morales wrote a message to Guatemalans on his Facebook page Sunday, saying he had spoken with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and that one of the most important topics was the return of Guatemala's embassy to Jerusalem, from Tel Aviv where it is currently located. For this reason I am informing you that I have given instructions to the Foreign Ministry. To make this happen, Morales wrote. On Monday, the Foreign Ministry said it was implementing the order. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs received the presidential order and is starting the process of implementing this foreign policy decision, it said in a statement. Guatemala's leader made the embassy announcement on Christmas Eve, three days after two-thirds of UN member states rejected Trump's decision to have the United States recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Netanyahu on Monday hailed the decision, saying Guatemala would not be the only nation to follow Washington's lead. Other countries will recognize Jerusalem and announce the relocation of their embassies. A second country did it and I repeat it there will be others, it's just the start and it's important, Netanyahu said in a statement. Israel's deputy foreign minister Tsipi Hotively told public radio that we are in contact with at least 10 countries, some of them in Europe, over the possible transfer of their embassies to Jerusalem. Guatemala is historically pro-Israeli, he told a news conference in Guatemala City. In 70 years of relations, Israel has been our ally, he said. We have a Christian way of thinking that, as well as the politics of it, has us believing that Israel is our ally and we must support it. Morales's position has become fragile in recent months because of allegations of corruption against him being investigated by a special UN-backed body working with Guatemalan prosecutors. The United States ambassador to the UN, Nikki Haley, had said her country would take names of the states opposing its position and Trump threatened to cut funding to countries that take our money and then vote against us. Several significant U.S. allies abstained from the U.N. vote, among them Australia, Canada, Mexico and Poland. Others, such as Britain, France, Germany and South Korea were among the nations denouncing any unilateral decision to view Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Along with Guatemala and Honduras, Israel, the Marshall Islands, Micronesia, Nauru, Palau and Togo were on the U.S. side of the vote. Following the U.S. decision on Jerusalem, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said he would no longer accept any peace plan proposed by the U.S., dealing a preemptive blow to an initiative expected by Washington next year.